Good day once again. We are now back with another example on converting your values using your dimensional analysis. So we are given 10.00 square kilometers and we are asked to convert that into square meters. So as always, we always start with with our given which is 10.00 square kilometers. And one blank, which means we need one equivalent statement that needs to be converted into one conversion factor for us to arrive to our final desired unit, which is in square meters. So our equivalent statement needed here is 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So we now transform this into the corresponding conversion factor and place it here. Now remember, the units should be properly placed. Since we are started with in uh, units in square kilometers, we need to have kilometers here, square kilometers, and the square meters, of course, as our desired unit in your numerator. So we now have transformed this equivalent statement into the corresponding conversion factor. But look at our units. We have kilometers and we have square kilometers. So obviously, we need to square the whole conversion factor so that we will be able to cancel the square kilometer units and be left with only our desired unit, which is in square meters. So let's do that. And we now have squared our conversion factor. So we now have square kilometers in our denominator and square meters in our numerator. So we'll, we will now be able to cancel the unit square kilometers here. And we are left only with our square meter unit, which is, of course, our desired unit. And now we do the calculation. It will give us our answer, which is equal to... 10 million square meters so that's a lot of numbers a lot of zeros and we remember we started only with four significant figures so we need to convert this now into the proper number of significant figures for our final answer so we simply move our decimal place being here to this position and that will now transform us so I transform this and give us our answer uh, equal to 1.00 times 10 raised to the power of, sorry, again, that's not 2, raised to the power of 7. So again, our final answer is 1.00 times 10 to the power of positive 7 square meters. So this is now our final answer. Again, the number of significant figures is 4. Since we started with 4 significant figures and we do not use this for us to determine the number of significant figures because this is a constant, a given. It's a relationship it's us usually used. So we always base our number of significant figures on our given. So that's all for this example. Thank you for listening and continue learning.